side on the left is 112 and on the right is 116 you can see up here uh, 112 doesn't have the uh, designation but I did install 116 to a separate directory so here's what I found let me go ahead and power up my spark over here it's got about 50% battery that should be good enough for this video all right let me go ahead and plug it in as soon as it starts flashing. All right. Yes, I know. It's never a problem. So here's what I found. Everything here is stock with the exception of 112 has the main.js uh, edit and 116 has the um, app.asr uh, change in it. So which is done uh, by someone else which basically is the same thing as enabling dev tools in uh, 112. So here in 116, uh, as you probably know, if you start it up, uh, we have all this, they're hard coded to stay one and true. And I was able to get over here, these. Uh, I've since backed off of one of my old versions, which is not included in this video, but that's right. Uh, I had ground station, as far as I could tell, pretty much working. Um, auto test never really did anything. And developer tools opened up a list of three things, but it's not what I wanted. So basically, if I go leaving this as one and true and go in here you close it out you can see I've only got these five here I'm not gonna sign in because I don't really need to to test this so I've only got the five I don't have everything below so if we quit that and we go into one one two now these should reset this one is not hard-coded I do have to type these in X now if I go in you'll notice I have the full list here. Well, I started thinking, I've been through the app.asr file, where would uh, the actual dev tools and everything reside? Because if they're in the exe, they're going to be much harder to get to, and I mean a lot harder. So I decided to try something out here. So in each of these, I'm going to make a copy of the respective uh, EXEs from that section. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, let's say I take DJ Assistant 112 right here, and I copy that into here. Okay. So now I have 112's exe, but all of the files, including the app.asr file from 116. So if this brings up dev tools, then that would tell me that the dev tools reside in the exe, I think. Okay. So as the app.asr file has them hard-coded to 1 and true, and notice I'm in 116 because it's not looking at the exe, it's looking somewhere else, because remember I copied over from 112. And if I go into here, so even if I want to do 1 and true, just to make sure that it's stuck, you'll notice developer tool still does nothing. Ground station, still nothing. And auto test, still nothing, because that's all in the app.asr file. Here, I still have the five. Okay, didn't work. I actually see that as good news. So, let's take, let's delete that one. And we'll rename it back so that we're back to where we were. Okay. So now what if I take 
the 116 EXE and copy it over and replace the 112 EXE. So basically what I'm thinking is that by doing this, if it enables DevTools, then what I'm looking for is not in the EXE because the EXE hasn't been changed in either of these. These are both stock, both 112 and 116. So if 116's EXE works over here, it's either at ASAR or somewhere else in here that the DevTools reside. So now that we have the uh, EXE from 116 in the 112 container folder, let's open this up and see what happens. As I expect, you'd have to redo them. So 1 and true, X, moment of truth. And lo and behold, look at that. I have all of my pieces back and I'm in, I'm using the 1.1.6 EXE for this. So I didn't change the EXE on either side. I only changed the app.asr file in both of them. So that kind of helps me with what could be where. Uh, it's going to take a little bit more digging, but uh, for those devs that are curious and maybe are watching what I'm doing, maybe this will help you, maybe not. Um, I'm going to continue to dig into this for the next few days and see what I can come up with. In the meantime, if I helped you, let me know. Like, share, subscribe, and I will post another update. See you guys in the next video.